In this video, I'm going to show you three ZT phone hacks everyone needs to know. Stay tuned. Before I start this video, I want to talk about the two new ZT devices that you guys may or may not know about. Now, chances are, if you're watching this video, you're either using the Z Max Pro or the ZT Blade Z Max. These are very good devices. However, they are outdated. Now, there are new iterations of these devices, the ZT Blade Max 2S and the ZT Blade Max View. Great thing about these devices are they are fully unlocked. Starting off with the ZT Blade Max 2S, this is only going to be $179, and this is one of the only unlocked phones that works with Sprint out of the box, so that means it is Sprint certified. This also works for Boost Mobile, Metro PCS, and Cricut Wireless. Now on the right we have the ZT Blade Max View. This is going to be $199. This works with Wi-Fi calling on Metro PCS and T-Mobile, and this is also Verizon certified. Another great thing is this works on all four major carriers as well. So if you guys want to learn more about these devices, I will leave the link in the description down below as well as pinned in the first comments down below. So the phone I'm using right now is the ZT Blade Max View, and the first hack we're going to go ahead and take a look at is the sound. This has to do with the sound. Some of you may know about this, some of you may not, but this is really, really an awesome trick you guys can go ahead and do. So if you guys know, a lot of ZT devices have the Dolby application because most of their speakers work with Dolby. These are some fantastic speakers on this device as well. We do have a stereo setup, so when the headset's not being utilized, we actually get sound out of that and the bottom speakers, so this is one of the best best budget phones as far as the speakers go. So once you find the Dolby Audio app, you're going to want to go ahead and click on that application. Now chances are you're either going to be on movie, music, or game, or one of these, but you can actually make a custom file. Now what I did is I made a custom file right here, clicked on custom one, clicked on it again, and I went right here, turned the volume all the way up. I turned on volume leveler, dialogue enhancer, and surround virtualizer. Now just to show you how dramatic of a difference this is, I'm going to put it on movie first and then we're going to compare it to my custom file when I turn the volume all the way up. So we have it on movie right here and let's go to our video and see the sound difference. So we have the sound all the way up as I said right now. Let's go ahead and start this. Now we're going to go ahead and pause that. Now just to show you in real time that I'm not trolling you or anything, we're going to go ahead and click on custom, go straight back to the video we were watching before, and play the video. Yes, it is a very, very big difference, and this could definitely maximize the quality of sound that you hear from your ZTE device. So I definitely recommend tweaking your volume a little bit and applying the settings to your ZTE device that I put on my device. Next thing we're going to be taking a look at is UI Tuner. Now, a lot of you have different preferences for where you want different things. Maybe you want the flashlight right there, you want location over there, and that is all changeable. So we can go ahead and go right there. And we can go ahead and edit sync to maybe go right there at the top. Or maybe you use Wi-Fi. That's the number one thing that you use. So you want to go ahead and put it right there. You guys can go ahead and do that. But the amazing thing about this and a ton of different ZigTee devices is we have a secret UI tuner inside of here. So if you guys want to go ahead and go into your secret UI tuner and customize everything else that you see up top, we can go ahead and go right here. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is spinning. So just hold on that for about five to six seconds. Boom. And this is going to pop up. It's going to say, congratulations, system UI tuner has been added to your settings. So if you guys want to go ahead and use that, go scroll all the way to the bottom and it's going to be system UI tuner right there. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And we have a bunch of different options that you guys can go ahead and edit. It says fun for some, but not for all. System UI Tuner gives you extra ways to tweak and customize the Android user interface. These experimental features may change, break, or disappear in the future releases. Proceed with caution. So definitely, if you guys do not know how to use any of these things, definitely proceed with caution. Uh, but it should be pretty safe. So let's go ahead and click on status bar. You guys can take away different things from the status bar that you don't want to see. So you guys don't want to see the Wi-Fi signal right there. Um, we can go ahead and turn off Wi-Fi. 
So we go ahead and turn it off. Now do know that Wi-Fi is still going to work. It's just not going to show the logo above. Now, one of my favorite things is the battery um, optimization right here. So if you want always to show percentage, you can go ahead and show percentage always right there. It's gonna show percentage and the little battery icon as you guys see. Or if you guys want to go ahead and not show this icon, click on that. It's not going to show your battery icon. And if you guys want it on default, show percentage when charging, it's going to stay on default. That's what I like mostly. Um, we also have the time right here. If you guys want to show hours, minutes, and seconds, you guys can go ahead and click on that. And it's going to change right there. It's going to show you hours, minutes, and seconds now. So I thought that was really, really cool. Um, if you guys don't want to show this time, you guys don't need the time, you guys can go ahead and turn that off as well. And you have more real estate now to show the things that you actually want to see on your drop down menu. Some other things we have right here is do not disturb if you guys want to go ahead and mess with those settings and other. Uh, we also have some power notification controls. Uh, if you guys want to turn those on, level 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, if you guys want to go ahead and read that stuff, you guys can go ahead and do so. If you're more advanced with these types of settings, you guys can go ahead and do that. Uh, but I wouldn't recommend it for everybody. Now in the last hack, I want to show you something that's really, really cool that that you guys are going to be utilizing a lot in your everyday life uh, as, as far as taking photos and different stuff like that now if you guys do know this trick already definitely put it in the comments down below shout out to everybody who's been watching uh, the tech right videos go ahead and scroll down to where it says security so we're gonna go to security right now so click on security once you get there and you're going to click on fingerprints once you click on fingerprints it's going to ask you to put in your pin so i'm going to go ahead and do so the pin is now entered and proceed now once we get in here it's going to say touch controlled functions fingerprint verification not required so the amazing thing about this is you can actually take a photo uh, when enabled you can actually tap the fingerprint sensor and take a photo so that is really really cool uh, the other thing is when enabled you can tap the fingerprint reader to answer a call so if you guys want to answer a call instead of just swiping and you guys have a problem with that you guys can go ahead and tap that you'll be fine as far as the photos tap that you'll be fine because I know a lot of people that take photos like this say they want to take a um, say they want to take a selfie really quick so let's go ahead and take a selfie and you're right there you're in a weird position and you don't know you don't want to click on that you guys can actually just press the back take a selfie Press the back, take a selfie. Pretty cool stuff right there. That's some stuff I think is really, really cool and unique about these devices. The other thing is answering a call uh, with the fingerprint sensor. So if you guys don't want to, you know, keep swiping, that's kind of, you know, tedious. So if you guys want to go ahead and answer a call, turn that on, click this, and you can go ahead and answer a call. So I thought that was really, really cool. Now I'm going to give you my last and final favorite hack, and that is going to be on the Blade Max View and the Max 2S. And we're going to go ahead and go right here. If we scroll all the way to the bottom, it's going to be the Z community. So if we click on that, it's going to say, number one, get answers to your specific questions about your ZT device. Number two, provide product feedback to shape our future software updates and product roadmap. And number three, participate in beta testing opportunities. It says all of these can be found and more at the Z community. So if you guys want to go ahead and join the site, I'm going to put the link in the description as well as the first comment down below. Uh, but if you guys do have a ZT device i repeat if you have a zt device and you need help with anything you guys need to be active in the z community now me and a ton of other influencers are going to be active in the community we are already there we've been there for about two years some people even more um, but you guys really need to be active in this community uh, they talk about software updates they talk about you know different bugs that are happening with the phone they talk about fixes and just a lot of great stuff going on at the z community so if you guys want to go ahead and join them i'm going to put a link in the description down below all you guys have to do is register 100 free just go ahead and register and be a part of the forum but yeah if you guys did enjoy this video please leave a like down below as well as subscribing if you guys are not a part of the tech gang already also hit the notification bell if you guys want to be notified every time i do upload a new video this has been safan from tech right peace out tech gang